the Joe Rogan experience. I keep thinking that one day they're going to come up with artificial Luke Skywalker type hands and that people are going to want them instead of regular hands. That's what I'm worried about. Wow. If they came up with an arm, it would that sound works terrible way though, arm, like metal on metal. Unless you, if you had the skin like simulation, it could, I could play guitar with that. Maybe Dude, I'm talking about you self. I do some wild shit. I'm talking about self healing, bulletproof, spider silk, hybrid skin, like that. The government's working on. <clears throat> they're working on that right now. They're working on some sort of. Um, I don't doubt it, man. I I, I read an you, article. I went. On, you want to hear a wild one? All right, I went on, you know, one night fucking smoking. I went on a little YouTube uh, wormhole situation. And somehow, I don't even know if it's a YouTube video or somewhere else, but I wound up on this video that was like, world's smartest kid thinks that CERN blew the world up in 2008. <laughs> All right? And I'm like, what the fuck? So I go on this video, right? And I'm watching this video, <laughs> dude. And it's this young kid. He's like 12. And the motherfucker's talking. You know, half the, you're, you got to invest like 20 minutes into this kid talking about things that are super smart. And it's kind of like to show you he's super smart. You know what I mean? This right. kid. And his dad's doing the recording, I believe, or a relative, somebody very close to him. And he goes into this whole theory of how he thinks when they collided the 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 electrons, I believe, in the in the in the super collider, mm -hmm. CERN, that they caused some crazy chain reaction that blew up the universe. But they also weighed they, they created an atom that weighed too much. And he it's oh, the first twenty minutes is also explaining <laughs> infinite parallel universes. So what the kid winds up with is this theory of like. One atom weighing too much, and weigh, and is that being just enough to shift our universe into a, a parallel universe? <laughs> yeah, this is it right here, dude. Whoa. So this guy had this kid had me fucked up because after I watched this, everything I saw for months was talking about like it would be a news guy on the on the news like I don't know what universe I'm in anymore or uh. Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Like all these, everything I saw for like four or five months after watching this video was like multiverse shit. Like Listen, shit about multiverses and it's got me fucked up, Joe. I hear you. <laughs> I'm fucked up too now. got me fucked up, man. Listen, read that this kid. Look at what it says there. He claims it's CERN destroyed the universe during recent experiments, which has resulted in us living in a nearby parallel universe instead. You're welcome, Eddie. There's a lot of people online <laughs> that think this is an explanation for all the Mandela effect things. Yeah, that yeah, they, 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 he goes online. into stuff about the Mandela effect. How like, you know, there's like apparently a bunch of people who think Mandela died in prison, right? And like, there's you know, and yeah. I, as far as I know, he was released, became president of South America. You know, I mean, that's the universe right. I'm yeah. from, just personally. <laughs> you know, but it's crazy, dude. One because it's but not I just this video. It's like you watch it. And that YouTube algorithm starts sending you down a whole bunch of other, you know. I mean, you start yeah. hearing you, and it's like it's. And then again, everything that came out, there was all these shows I would see, or movies, or news things about mult the multiverse. All of a sudden, was everywhere around me. It was fucking nutty, dude. So I'm fucked up about that shit right now. Well, if there was something that they could do, if there was something that they could do that might open up a door to a parallel universe, you don't think they would do it? Stranger <clears throat> Things, you mean? Yeah, <laughs> Say, that's this the goal. is stranger that's the things. Thing. I mean, things are strange, right? It Fucking is stranger things. Bizarro world. You know what's the weirdest one is the the like well, the people that dismiss climate change. That is the weirdest one to me. So I'm like, what is? The, I'm trying to figure out what's the benefit of dismissing climate change, other than if you work for like the oil industry or something. Well, you work the, for Iceland just lost a glacier. Yeah. Like, they just posted a whole thing of 10 years or 80, like something in the 80s, a glacier picture right. of it, and just now, and it's gone. But I'm not even saying, like, blaming anybody for it. I'm saying dismissing it as an issue. I'm like, let's pretend that people have nothing to do with it. Let's just, I wish people had nothing to do with it. Because then we can go, holy fuck, it's getting hot. Like, how hot is it going to get? Like, we could just figure it out. Like, if it was Our just a record at this point, what, it's two degrees, the oceans are right. hotter than they've been in But you, do you ever. know how people do that, where they try to say, well, this is a natural cycle? This is something that some people still say, right? Okay, even if it was just a natural cycle, I wish humans weren't in the equation at all, so there was no argument. I wish it would just be like, hey, guys, it's getting really hot. 
What the fuck do we do? As if we had no control over it whatsoever. Not saying that we shouldn't take steps to fix it. We definitely should. But I'm saying that if it was impossible for people to have created it and it was happening around us, maybe we would be forced to do something. Maybe we'd be forced to like go to higher ground, get the fuck out of the, the really hot spots, you know, M make your way towards Canada. <laughs> like, I mean, maybe that would what's what we would do if there was no other way. But we know that at least part of what the problem is is people at least part of what the problem but so many people start they, they, they want to start arguments about that and fight that and to me it's so strange it's like what's the benefit of arguing against that it's happening i don't understand like it's happening you see it getting warmer you see the statistics you see everybody freaking out the, the amazon's on fire have you seen yes that? no For it's weeks. fucking horrifying you it's, see those photos from sao yes, paulo they're just and i believe it's purposeful I, I have heard that that is that, that some people are it's being thinking, burnt away on purpose is what I'm uh, if I some the things I've read or understood I won't swear their truth because again it, now that's one of the things we, what yeah, you're saying is suspicion. is you got to question everything now truth has been compromised man you know what I mean no matter how, what side of whatever you are yeah. on truth has been has been seriously compromised because there's a counter opinion to everything and if you're not um, adept enough to really get involved and find factual information, you can literally counter any argument there is. Yeah. With with something. Oh, I said. Well, I read this. Well, I read this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that doesn't mean either one of those things are true. Let's go find the truth. You know, what I mean, it, mm -hmm. that doesn't exist anymore because it's it, people just want to Google that shit, get on, yeah. and move on with their day. You know, and and it's laziness on our part. A lot of people don't want them. It's like fucking this thing that everybody's posting with the goddamn fucking Instagram. I don't give you permission. Yeah, the, so I, silly. Use every. I read a whole other thing that says the Amer average American, I believe, signs one or two legal documents a day without reading them, and just by logging into shit on your phone, Amazon or Instagram mm -hmm. or whatever. You every time you do that, you you subscribe and 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 adhere to their terms and conditions. You, and some you think a picture of a copy. And pasted Instagram thing over something that was from Facebook fucking twelve years ago is it's it's bananas. Well, it's bananas. People get roped into things, you know. Once person, I see smart people posting yeah, yeah, and yeah. saying better safe than sorry. Yeah, like yeah, I've seen that too. But what argument is that? Well, they don't know how to internet. They don't know how to internet. I'm just saying, even if it's like you suspect it's wrong, but you, oh fuck it anyways. Right. <laughs> it's like wait, wait, that's. If you suspect it's wrong, take the extra time or just yeah. don't do it at all. Yeah. Like, what? Do you really I'm just that using that as an example of how, yeah. why we're, what the state of things are as they are. Yeah, it's a sneaky little loophole. It's a sneaky little thing that happens to you. You have to, everybody's posting something stupid. Did you send it to me? Oh, well, Everlast sent it to me. It must be legit. Right. Let me just post it. You know, I mean, how many times have you done that? I've done that all the I time. I posted something clowning it, and then immediately after it, Dana came up. It was him posting the yeah. exact thing. And with the whole, like, better safe than sorry oh, thing. Oh, Christ. You know what I mean? And I was yeah. like, oh, man. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they got everybody though they got that fucking Rick Perry guy everybody Rick Perry. everybody, is, everybody isn't Rick Perry's job to like fucking protect the nukes or something I, say, like, I saw a governor or something posted too Rick what is Rick Perry they said Rick Perry but, but he has a specific the job energy, in the government it's like the energy the energy secretary think, he's like yeah. a, in control of the nukes right is that what it is? If you're the energy secretary, yeah you are I don't know <laughs> whatever the fuck he is he's got a big job and he, he fell for it <laughs> it's <laughs> Oh, it's bizarro world. We're man. in bizarro world. Maybe that fucking kid is right. I'm telling you, dude. You're, yo, you're gonna be calling me in a couple nights. Like, fuck you, dude. Why did you even tell me about that? <laughs> no, I've, I've, I've really, I've bounced the idea of multiple universes many times. We all have, but this kid, watch it. Just you're gonna invest. It, give it 20 minutes or 15, 18 minutes, whatever it is, and then you'll be like, oh wow, it's, what it's it? not that it's oh fact. It's, but it's like, wow, that's super possible. It's super, super possible the way he breaks it down. What about this? What if every time you went to sleep and you woke up, you passed into <clears throat> a nearby and very similar universe, but not quite the same? And depending upon your choices and how you live your life, it's how you wake up. 
and what new one you pop into on the other side. And everyone's just a little bit different. The whole world changes just a little bit each time you make a decision, one way or another. Everything changes when you wake up. You think the world is static, because it is when you're awake. But you have no fucking idea what's happening while you're asleep. And when you wake up again, you have this foggy recollection of the past. And that's what you're going by. You're going by every morning waking up with a foggy recollection of the past. <laughs> That's what you're doing. And you're, you're assuming that nothing's changed and everything's static. And while you were asleep for eight hours, n nothing weird happened. You know what the fuck you're talking about? You have no idea. You're dreaming. You're having crazy fantasies and shit. Weird stuff is happening. You're fucking mermaids. You're flying through the air on a, uh, on a helicopter. You know, you don't, you, you, weird things happen when you're dreaming. What is all that about? Yeah. We don't even know. We have no idea what that is. That soup of possibilities that's fucking swirling around in between your ears while you're snoring up a storm, and then, boom, you wake up. Are you sure those memories are real? Are you sure that this isn't a whole completely new universe that you're living in today? Or assimilation. Or simulation. There was someone I said simulation. <laughs> I think that's, that's a baby I would call formula. myself out on that one right there. There was some fucking another genius super wizard kid who was talking about that, 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 that something about simulations. I forget what I, I was high at the house with my with the guy who runs my studio, Divine, and 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 we were just fucking laughing, talking shit one day. High like like, what if like, I I may have heard this. I could have been on your show. I could have read this. So I'm not claiming resp like ownership of the thought, but it was like, what if like we just come from a universe like that's so perfect and shit. And it's boring as fuck. And we just plug in to have all these fucked up, like, weird problems. And that's why everything's getting fucking weirder and crazier. Because, like, that's kind of why we're here. That's part of the ride, you know. That could be it. It could be the only way you appreciate love is to know hate. They'll really appreciate it. And it could be the only way we would appreciate all the good that we have is to balance it out with all the bad that we have. And when they start to overwhelm each other one way or the other, there's an imbalance that takes place and it leads to all of our fucking problems as a society. And when you, you think about how long you're going to be alive and what it is that you're doing here and why you're doing it, you know, all those weird questions and answers that go on inside your head, it's all you're distributing energy, right? You're trying to figure out, am I distributing my energy right? Am I, uh, am I living my life in a way that is uh, like the best I can do with what I've got right now. All That's these, it. All these mind fucks. That's all you got to do, Just, though. I mean, honestly, yeah. even no matter what we're saying, if you woke up every day and that was your objective, yeah, you couldn't really go or do much wrong. No, no, you can't. And what if every day when you did that, you woke up in a nearby universe that was just a little bit different because of what you thought and did? Dude, that's like, you know, that's a movie. Some magic type that's shit, movie, Everlast. Man. That's a movie. It's a magic type oh, shit. Oh, you went, I'd say, I was, okay, I was, I was being, okay. uh, I just was like uh, trying to be uh, not such a glutton. There, there we go. Salute. Salute. DJ Melody over there. I just wanted to cheers. How about cheers? Let's bow. go, American. He's, he's God damn so it. Patient. Cheers. 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 DJ. <laughs>